What's up? What's up? Uh, this is the updated version of the Red Lord 2 tutorial that I made in 2018. Uh, this is much more straightforward approach and you will get everything work with less steps. Even the multiplayer. Uh, this is probably the last Red Lord 2 tutorial that I have to ever made before we will get the Red Lord 2 remaster. I think they will do it in the future. But let's go straight to the business. So first thing what, what we ha have to have is the Retro 2 in Origin. And I, I am using the Ultimate Collection on Origin, which is here. And I already have this in my Origin. And I also have downloaded Retro 2 that I have in here. So, and this is clean install, so I haven't done anything yet. Let's put this down. And next, we need the CNC net, Retro 2, and Uris Revenge. And CNC net contains everything we need. And you can see all the, all the amazing features that it has. So here's working multiplayer solution and all the different renderer options that you have and it will fix everything. So you have to click download and play online. And after you have downloaded the file, you will have this CNC net installer. Right click that, run as administrator. Yes. I accept. And this is warning. Now comes warning. When this installer is completed, it will automatically start the CNC at launcher and it is loud. So if you are using headphones, this is the moment where you have to put all the volume down. Warning, warning, warning. And now we are clicking next and install. So soon comes the air explosion. Now. And when it is giving you update, hit yes. And then we are going back in the game. Much better. Okay. So next, I'm going to change the in-game resolution. And now you have to remember, this game is 20 years old and it wasn't never made for or, or designed to be played with the resolutions that we have nowadays. So if you have widescreen monitor, ultra wide screen, or you have 4K resolution monitor, remember that if you have problems, there isn't much we can do about them. So if you have weird problems with your ultra wide, I would say that try smaller resolution. I have noticed that full HD works for me really good. So I'm going to use that. And next thing, this is by default like this. By default, it is default. And we are changing this to TSDD ROM. And you can see from my article, how these different renderers work but this is the best overall option and i'm gonna use that like this and i'm gonna hit save you need to restart the client yes 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 and yes everything is like it should and next we have what we have to do is we have to go to skirmish and launch game We build for Yori. Relocating construction site. And as you can see, it works quite nice. It ask about game Battle and quit control game. Terminated. My menu and exit game. And next thing we are going to do. We are going to right click. It doesn't matter if you are right clicking Yuri's Revenge CNC Net or if you are right clicking this 
Origin Launcher. This is Origin Launcher, this is CNC Net Launcher. I'm right clicking and clicking Properties and going Open File Location like this. And then I'm going to scroll down. And now we have here the INI files. And what you will see is that this is the RA2MD and this is RA2. And these aren't the same. So for some reason, the CNC Net Launcher doesn't update the both files. I don't know if this is, this is necessary necessary step or not, but I like to use like this. I like to do like this. So I'm copying everything to here and clicking save. And it's possible when you're trying to save these files, you will get permission error. So it will say that you don't have permission to do that. And the reason is because you are not opening the notepad in administration mode. So you should open the start menu and just write notepad. And then right click notepad and run as administrator. And then when you edit the files, you can save them. So you need to have administrator rights and no. And if you are not logged in with administrator account, you need to know the administrator password. Okay, and this is also good to know. If you write intro, play no, you can skip the intros from the game. If I remember right, the Yuri's Revenge intros you can skip by hitting ESC, but the Retro 2 intro you cannot. So I like to just skip the intros by adding these and saving those files and x and x and x like this so now i have two shortcuts on the desktop this is for so basically this is for multiplayer let's draw this here this is for multiplayer lan skirmish online ladder whatever and this is single player for campaigns so let's see if the single player mode works. And let's try first the Riddler 2. Nice. Uh, single player. New campaign. Commander, good morning. We've success. Establishing battlefield control. And here we are. Everything works like it should. Quit, quit, quit. And exit. And as you can see, the mine menu of the game. That doesn't stretch, so don't worry about that. The game is still full screen. Exit game, okay. And next, let's try the Yuri's Revenge. And ask. And this is weird because the Yuri's Revenge is full screen already, but the basic Retro 2 isn't. They, are, they, are, they aren't working in the same way. New campaign. Locked and loaded. Lock and load. Ask. Establishing battlefield control. Stand by. And as you can see it works, but now I wanna say this one thing It's possible that when you try to pay the Yuri's Revenge, the screen is black and you cannot see the game So what I would say that Incoming you should try is to press the Alt-Tab And after you have played 
uh, pressed Alt Tab, go back the in the game. Was destroyed by the Soviets during the war. Protect the time machine. If this doesn't help, abort the mission, quit, battle control terminated, and restart the game. So it is quite normal behavior that sometimes the Yuri's Revenge is showing you black screen instead of the game. So in those situations just play with the alt tab and if you cannot get it work then i would say that try the different uh, renderer so now we are using the ts option so try the other options that are available okay and next i'm gonna show how you can play this game games in windowed mode so, first we are opening the CNCNet client, and I'm going to open it on administration mode. Run and yes. And I'm going to go straight to options, and I'm going to lower the in-game resolution uh, to this. And click or check the window mode, like this. And remember that when you are using window mode, you have to use this TS option or GDI option or this DS option. It doesn't work in this Z and C option. You will get error message which will say something about the bits you are using. I don't remember exactly what the error was. But I will use this TS option and hit save. And next let's see if it works. So I will go to skirmish and loud game. And as you What's can see, Let's it works. Flat land. So next, I'm gonna hit ESC and upper mission. Battle control quit. terminated. Mine menu and exit game. And next, we need to modify a couple of files. So I'm gonna hit this with right click, properties, and open file location. And I'm gonna scroll down, and here we have these three files LCF files. So I have my notepad open, and I'm going to drag and drop this file here, like this. And here are the run parameters for the game. And we are going to add here win, and win means window mode. And I'm going to copy paste this, like this, and file save. Then I'm going to drag and drop the second file. Paste, paste, and save. And the third file, paste, file, save, like this, and X. And the last thing we need to do is we need to open these files. And if you remember from the earlier from this video, these doesn't, if we made change in the CNC client, it doesn't automatically update this file. So I'm going to copy these to here. So they are matching now. X and X and X and X. So when we are starting the game now, it should be in window mode. And it works. And let's see if we can start the game. Single player, new campaign. And you might see this funny thing. So, as you can see, I have selected the Allied campaign. And when I click it, nothing happens. So, depending what resolution you are using on Windows Web mode, this this specific part of the menu doesn't work like it should be. So if I'm selecting this, it will start the Allied campaign. If I'm selecting this, it will start the Soviet campaign. Uh, no, it will start the tutorial. But if I click here, it will start the Soviet campaign. So it's a little bit messed up in window mode and in specific resolutions. So if I'm clicking here right now, it will start the Soviet campaign. 
So it's normal. Or it's not normal, but it's normal behavior. So as you can see, it works. But in-game, everything works like they should. So you have to a little bit play with these settings and try to find what works for you. Let's see that everything... I can control everything. Start, start, start. As you can see. No problem. Let's try build. Yes, building works. Everything works. No problem. Let's go back. Quit. And let's also see that the Uri's Revenge works. Because I have heard many times that Rattler 2 works, but Uri's Revenge doesn't work. So now I'm gonna prove that Uri's Revenge also works. Uri's Revenge. And it is starting in window mode. Single player, new campaign. And, and this has the exact same thing. If, if I click here. It's, it's, it's weird, it's weird. So now I could start the game from the... The situation like, looks better, Commander. Literally not pressing any buttons. Yuri's forces have successfully... But the good thing is that when you, when you find the Stand spot where, that you have to press, then it's, you then it's no problem anymore. Because you are doing it only when you are starting the campaign. After that, you are only loading the save games. The time machine games. is just south of the Golden Gate Bridge. The Golden Gate Bridge entrance was destroyed by the Soviets during the war. Protect the time machine until you can capture enough power plants to bring it online. But these problems should only exist in window uh, mode. And you shouldn't have it when you are playing in full screen mode. Commander, these are Guardian GIs. They're Let's see if I can... Yes. You're good to go. Bound forward. Bound forward. Securing position. And as you can see, Securing position. everything works. On our way, sir. Nice. Battle control terminated. So now I have proven that I can play it in full screen. The skirmish multiplayer and the single player of the original retro 2 both sides and in window mode so there is this one question i get asked about time after time after time and that question is about this hood so you can see here the menu where you can choose the units you are building and buildings you are making and whatever so the bigger resolution you are using the smaller it gets and that's how it works and you cannot change the hood size separately so the only option if you wanna that the hood is bigger you have to use smaller resolution and the bigger resolution you are using the smaller the hood is so there isn't any fix that we could change that so the only option is that we are waiting the Rattler 2 remaster that I hope that will come in the future. Then there is this one problem when you are starting the game, but you are only getting the black screen. So it, it isn't showing you the game. So the option one that I use, and this works almost every time, is that when I alt tap out, and then I alt tap back in the game, and then it loads the game. Sometimes you have to kill the process and you have to res restart the game. Sometimes I have to restart the origin. I don't know why it works like that, but it works. One option is that you have to change the renderer option. 
So whatever you are using, change it to other option. And the last but not least, restart the computer. So there is these options you can try to get rid of the black screen. But you might still get it after you have done everything. And sometimes you are not getting it. It's weird, but that's how it works. Okay, and let's talk about the internal error. So this error message is something that you might see quite a lot. Again, there is something you can do and there is something you can do to prevent that. So the most common way to get this error is when you are, when the game is showing you video or cutscene and you are hitting alt tap when that is playing, then the game might crash and give you this error. And the way you can prevent that, don't hit the alt tab when the game is loading something. When, when you are in game and you hit alt tab, then it should work quite nice. Then there is this second problem with the same error that whenever you start the game, it will give you this error. So you are not getting the game even work. So what I have noticed that this is problem with the configurations. So when you when you are in this infinite loop, I would say that try this rotation. So first you start the CNC launcher in administrator mode, which is this. So you are starting this at administrator. And after that you go to options and you click save. So we are basically those options that are there selected there, we are saving them again. After that you go you go to skirmish in CNC launcher. And when the game has loaded, exit the game. So we want that the game is updating the ini files. After that you go here, open file location, and you copy all content from array to md to ra2 ini like this select all copy and paste save and save so these files are matching again and then try to start the games again so i have noticed that sometimes if you are making changes in the options but if you are not visiting the game be after that, it doesn't update those ini files, in my opinion. So you have to do these things in certain order to get it work. But the good thing is that when you have uh, made your configurations one time, you don't have to play with them after that. I said this before in this video, but I will say it again. So if you are getting this error, when you are trying to click these links, but they are not starting the game, then it's possible that it's messed up and you, but you can start the campaign if you click here. Or sometimes the allied campaign start from hit this button and the tutorial start from this and the Soviets start from here. So they are like misaligned because of the resolution you are using. So the Reason, number one reason is you are playing in window mode. The number two reason is because you are using resolu resolution that will mess up these buttons. So you can still start the campaign, but you have to find the spot that you have to click. One thing that I get a lot of questions is about the cutscene size or the video size. And why it isn't in full screen. And the reason is because it never was intended to do that. And because 20 years ago the resolutions were much smaller than what we have nowadays. So there's this one trick that you can try, but it's possible that it doesn't work. So right click this CNC net or this origin, origin launcher link and hit open file location. Scroll down until you see array 2 ini and array 2 md. Open this and open the MD1. 
and here you can see stretch movies yes stretch movies yes so these should be yes but it's still possible that it isn't in full screen and there isn't much what you can do about that there is the auto renderer option this d x v and d and if i remember right that will stretch the game even in widescreen monitor to full screen but it will in my opinion it will look really ugly so i don't i am not using and it doesn't bother me that the cutscenes aren't working in full screen but there is this weird thing that the Yuri's Revenge, when you start Yuri's Revenge in full screen, it will stretch the mind menu and it will stretch the cutscenes. But when, when you are playing the basic area 2, it doesn't do that. I don't know why, but it just works like that. And about OBS capturing of this game, it all comes down to the rendering mode that you are using. So I've, as I have written here, best overall option is TSDD RAW because it allows you to use the game capture, windows capture and display capture. So we can go up. It wasn't here. Here. So I have here put this image which shows you what these different renderers allows you to do. So if you are using TSDD RAW, which is best overall option, you can capture the game in all different modes. So that's about that. Okay, and I know that someone will ask, so let's address this thing straight away. So does this tutorial work with other versions than the origin version of Red Alert and your events? I would say that it works because the only origin related thing is this so we are only installing the game from origin and after that we are going to cnc part so i think that this works with other releases too so if you have the untouched isos yes it works if you are using a version that you have borrowed for free from internet Mm, I don't know if it works or not, but that's something that you have to try to yourself and maybe tell if it works or not. I don't know. Then some people have been asking me about some Android version. That sounds really strange to me. That someone really would want to play this on Android, but why not? And I don't know anything about those. So. My only experience is with Windows and with the original CD installation and with the Origin. But I use this Origin because this cost. This was in uh, some kind of sale. And if I remember right, this cost maybe $6, $5, and I you got all the 17 games. So it wasn't bad price. But I know that for some people it might be. So you do what you do. And I think this tutorial would still help you. But that's about that. This will be very, very long tutorial. But I tried to put all the different things in this same video. So people doesn't have to ask the same things over and over and over again. And let's wait the official release and remaster of this game that I really hope that we are getting one day. But that's about that.